Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand general reading for uh, September 24th to September 30th, 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> I want to remind you that this is a general reading for the star sign of Gemini and this is not your personal reading so it's up to me to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it is supposed to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to be the one who aligns cards to your personal situation then this is a matter of a personal reading and uh, to do so you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, also as it is the end of the summer there is a, a summer sale a summer end sale going on which uh, adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes for a total of 40 minutes so that set aside, let's go to the tarot spread first. Now the first card or the first position in the tarot spread, which is a four card spread, um, <clears throat> is about the topic of you Gemini's week. Then the second card is about the core of the situation. Third card, it is about the challenges that you have to overcome. And the last one, it's about the guidance that tarot offers to you Gemini for the duration of this week. So let's see what you do have now. We do have the High Priestess. It is the card of silence. It is the card of passiveness. It is the card of deliberation and being uh, and one comprehending upon uh, their entire world and their entire life. Therefore, it is unlikely that this week you are going to experience uh, any tantrums, turmoils, but in the same time any extraordinary uh, events or any extraordinary undertakings. As a matter of fact, if we're talking about the um, the High Priestess uh, career, it is it very it, the card itself fluctuates depending on what regards career or relationship. Now, if it is about career, this card points that that week it will be totally normal week giving you the chance to comprehend upon the true path career path that you need to take or is the path that you are right now is the true part of your career now if we talk about the relationship however uh, it does depend if you are single or you are um, in relationship if you are in relationship this card signifies that uh, you uh, and the partner you are with you know are going to strengthen the bond of your soul so you you will create a even a, a stronger bridge in between your your um, cumulative souls and if you are single however this card points that it is unlikely that this week you are going to find someone to kind of a person of interest because the card itself points that the next one you you find or uh, rather it points that your soul is searching for your soulmate it's the word that you all love the soulmate so your soul here is the is search the compatible the most compatible soul of its own so uh, this is the topic of your week here and whatever uh, no matter how this card manifests it's a matter of deliberation and it is a matter of finding the true answers for ourselves by comprehending upon our entire world that we are in and unfortunately those answers could be only uh, achieved by yourself and no one else can give you so if you do for example you purchase a reading with me and you ask me you know what is my life purpose well it is up to you to find it I mean you are the only one who can find the answer to those questions which are going to um, kind of baffle you for the duration of this week and then we do have the core of the situation here that will be the lover's card this is the card of the choice now the lover's card in the in the medieval age or the very initial version of tarot was called the choice because uh, the lover sits for a choosing in between what you want to and what you have to all right and the good thing here is is that neither of these choices is right 
or wrong. It is up to your personal situation. So what we do have here is because you do you do need to make a certain decision either about your career or either about your relationship. The universe itself is allowing you to spend the week very calmly and in seclusion or a solitude should they say that way so you can deliberate upon your options available to comprehend what will be the outcome of either of them and to finally make the decision that suits you and your needs and your means as well. So again, there is not, uh, there, there isn't right or wrong decision. And in this particular case, what um, what example I like to to give is um, I a career example. So let's say uh, that a person uh, has to choose in between a couple of jobs. One of the jobs, it is the job that he would really want to work. It is the job that he really enjoys doing, but it is very low paid. The other job is very annoying one. It is It, it kind of involves a lot of responsibilities, a lot of toils as well, you know, and a lot of, uh, of criteria to be fulfilled. But in the same time, it is very well paid job. So it depends what your situation is. If you are single, you know, and the money from the first job that you really, really want to work, uh, it's uh, they are enough for you to sustain yourself and to keep up the standard of living then you will go for it obviously but uh, if you have a family to feed you know and you have to meet the different ends then you will go for the what you have to that will be the job of, uh, of a, a higher payment but in the same time more stressful so again this week is going to be a week for you Gemini's of a uh, most importance it will require from you to make a, a very big decision regarding your life all right and that's why you have to deliberate upon it you have to comprehend and the only one who knows the right answer here it is you because the decision depends on your personal situation you cannot find the answer with uh, as a, you know consulting yourself with someone either a good friend good companion you know faithful companion or a family member or a tarot reader for that matter or a um, astrologer the only uh, the only person who can answer that question it is you and then we do have the challenges that you have to overcome here that will be the knight of swords so the knight of swords is the another card of decision and the challenge here will be to synchronize your decision with your emotions all right so uh, we see here that you are going to be torn apart you have to make you will want to make one of the decisions, but the logic is going to tell you just do the other one, you know. And it is very important here to tap with your inner voice. And that is very, very different from intuition. Many people say that the high priestess is intuition. The moon card is the ultimate card for intuition. The... Um, the high priestess it is about the inner voice and what is the inner voice what is the inner wisdom the inner wisdom is a deduction and conclusions made based on a previous arguments that you have stumbled upon but you forgot your sub your conscious forgot but your subconscious knows about them all right so um, and Magically, you may kind of have revelations or stumble to an answer that uh, with the current and present arguments that you do have and proofs, you won't be able to. But that is very different from intuition. The intuition is uh, when the intuition kicks in, you kind of receive, you know, answers, let's say, out of nowhere with no based foundation whatsoever but here you do have the foundation so it's very important that you pay extra attention to your memories to your dreams as well all right and to your um to your uh, sense of uh following uh, how can i place it following your inner wisdom as well but the inner wisdom yeah it's 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 the same thing all right so it's it's very important that you acknowledge you know the minor shady memories that you do have upon a, a certain uh, similar situations from the past or uh, let's say you know a situations that people close to you had in the past so you can make a, an accurate judgment upon your current situation and then we do have the guidance we wow that is the hermit card so we do have both cards of one seeking something so the hermit 
further strengthens the uh, high priestess as we do have the earth sign with the water sign those signs kind of amplifies one another the hermit says that you have to be through to your emotions so you that will be the, the challenge here being torn in between your emotions and in between your logic but the hermit asks you to follow your emotions because what the hermit represents is again a withdrawal a solitude but instead of comprehending upon your inner voice you know here you need to comprehend upon your emotions what you really love to do all right what you uh, what you think is going to make you whole what you really think that is going to make you full and fulfilled and happy of living and as well the hermit the hermit is about a retrospection all right what you did wrong in the past or what kind of approach you were unable to execute why and when you kind of reach the conclusion of that answer return back to the real world or to the reality out of the, that seclusion to execute this time the strategy or the accurate strategy the hermit says that you this week for you Gemini's it will be imperative week because you're about to find the light that shines for you in the darkness and you're going to do so by uh, tapping into your inner wisdom and uh, now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and let's see uh, what event uh, you Gemini's should either look forward to or uh, should try to avoid So the first card that we do have, this is the anchor. Anchor uh, stands for long-lasting, stability, hope, longevity. Then the next card is the key. Now the key is kind of like a tricky card. It, the key either opens or either closes door. So we either have a, a possibility for, uh, for hope, stability and longevity or this door closes but with the tarot reading i do believe that this is the opening door here and then the next card oh yeah we do have the heart so this could speak that you have finally found your love or you have finally found your commitment because the heart set sits for either love or it sits either for commitment so that could speak for a long lasting love or from a, a long-term commitment and uh, what is peculiar here is that I do think that this is someone you have chased for a quite a while if it is love because we do have the key now you finally opened the door in their heart to receive your love all right so it's kind of like it's magnificent all right and that will be uh, a, a long lasting one so don't waste it guys in case this is in this is your situation so that being said uh, Gemini's this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading and again this is a general reading for the star sign of Gemini this isn't your personal reading for uh, and therefore uh, I explained you the meanings of the cards, I explained you the synergy of them in the reading, in the spread, but it is up to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to align and make sense of the cards for your personal situation, then this is a matter of a personal reading, and to do so, you can visit my website, which is listed down below in the, into the description of this video, or make an inquiry on my email, which is as well listed down below in the description of this video and we're going to schedule an appropriate time for your reading until then rat signing out now see you next time bye